right, so as always, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get this going. All right, guys, so today we're gonna we we had a we had a little squeaky noise on our Shelby truck, you know, the one that was a lot of money. Uh, so we had to go ahead and uh, consult our our suspension expert here at Race Spec. We only affiliate with the best. This time it's Jay. So Jay. Uh, tell us a little bit about yesterday. What, what, what happened when you were driving around and you heard all these squeaky noises? What a... um, My truck has a lot more miles, a third of the price, doesn't make as much noise driving. Um, not a suspension expert, but... Um, you know a thing or two. I, I know a couple of things. And here we have a uh, Pride and Joy. Let me put this truck together. Mr. Alan Hines, technician over at Shelby. Shout out to our boy Alan Hines for being great at inspecting your work. What, what do you do? What, why is our truck squeaking? Well, I don't know if this is the reason why it's squeaking, but you have no grease in the upper ball joint. Yeah, no. There's no grease on both sides. Um, there's something either loose or something. Something else is rattling when you're like it's screeching. The rear, I'm pretty sure, it might be cow track bars. Which is expected though, right? Yeah, those are those tend to be noisy regardless. But these these are not moving, so I don't think that's the noise that we were hearing. Unless let's see. Let's start I love the mismatched hardware. I would have thrown this bolt up here and these two down here. So they, so they could up. at least look matching, you know? That's good. That's a little cosmetic. It's all right. Nobody's gonna notice. No one's gonna get on their knees. No, well, you can see it from well, a mile away. Maybe, maybe yeah. not, guys. <laughs> that might just be the cow tracks, but no, that other noise. The plank. What is right that? There. I'm doing it right there. Yeah, I did it right there. So something from the back. Something is making noise. Um, you have to inspect it. There's a lot of different things in here now that the truck didn't come with, such as the rear sway bar, um, traction bars in the back. But yeah, I'd uh, I check your bolts, <laughs> make sure everything is nice and tight since uh, the ball joints didn't have grease, and who knows what else might uh, might have been missed by both uh, Shelby and Ford. So, okay, I'm gonna give it to Ford. I don't think they inspect these trucks when they get them back. No. Because I think they just assume that that's Shelby North America does a great job and just gives them a car that's ready to sell. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that's what their contract says. Yeah, probably. Uh, so, I mean, I don't blame them, right? Like, no. would you expect Shelby to do a crap job? I mean. Now you do. Now I'd be skeptical. <laughs> Especially when you drop six figures on a car. Ah, dude, imagine that. So, yeah, so for six, for a hundred thousand dollars, you can get the biggest, baddest single cab on the market that has no grease on the upper ball joints. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and has yeah. squeaks and squeaks. And, and that's not the only thing, actually. My passenger seat, uh, bottom cover, and um, I, I pointed this out at the dealership right before I signed the paperwork. So, they're gonna go ahead and fix that for me. But, um, and you might have seen it on my other video, but look at this. See this on the leather, it's on both sides. Yeah, this is on a no, no. It's a, it's a, it's like a, it's like it's like peeled. This is on a brand new truck, by the way. Um, I don't know how they, how they could miss that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But um, that's gonna get fixed, and then I'm gonna go to the dealership. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna have them grease up the ball joints, and I'm gonna be like, hey man, like, can you check the tightness on all the suspension? Anything that shall be touched, I want you to see, cause I spent quite a bit of money on this truck, and I want to feel safe in it. You know. Uh, and I'm not the only Super Snake owner, actually. My friend, the one that built my old Lightning, uh, he happened to get a Super Snake as well. He has a white one. Uh, his alignment was off. It was pulling to the right. So his truck wasn't aligned after it was modified. Uh, his cow tracks were squeaking a lot. He said um, also his ball joints didn't... It, yeah, said, what? Yeah. Drive it down the street and you can hear it. I mean, he said that one of the ball joints didn't have grease. One of them. Just one of them. And then... Um, and he's getting his truck back from Shelby, North America in a couple days with a supercharger. And then his other friends got it already back with a supercharger. Hey, and you know what happened to that truck? The freaking the injector wires were flipped and it wasn't fueling correctly. So Ford had to compensate him for that. I love this truck, don't get me wrong. Amazing truck, it's badass. But 
hear some squeakies. Honestly, dude, Jose just wanted an excuse to drive the truck. Dude, that's loud, huh? It's really loud. It's quiet for having an exhaust. Dude, you see that? He's like either going left and right, left and right to like see it make noise. coming back but yeah guys I love the truck it's an amazing truck I have no regrets on buying it but I really wish these weren't issues um, wish they didn't have to give the truck back just to have them fix that yeah you can definitely hear it it feels like he's doing one of those slalom tests like the speed ones Pretty crazy how quiet this portal exhaust is, huh? I think we need headers, but our plug never responded to my text message. What's up? It's a full catalytic converter. I don't have any? It's a full catalytic converter. I have four, wow. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. So there's like a lot of kind of rattling. Also, yesterday when we were driving, Ray, remember that uh, vibration at a certain, po at a certain part? Yeah. Um, so like the drive shaft might be not perfect, the pinion angle, so little details like that. Yeah, so like around like 3000 RPM, like 20, 30 miles an hour, you get this really loud humming, like if you had subwoofers. Yeah. And it does it in normal mode, it does it in sports mode. Yeah, and then the vibration too. So, you know, when you spend 100,000 on a truck and you get vibration when you're supposed to be a Shelby truck, supposed to go fast. <laughs> would, would you feel safe going fast? No, <laughs> no, not at all. So there's little details that need to be finessed before they, uh, before they actually, you know, make it to the customer. Um, also, seems I guess this side looks pretty even. The other side, the passenger, uh, passenger side, the front it looks higher than the back. So I don't know if the coilovers were adjusted correctly, so they sit. They might have not been. They might have just been on thrown point. on. Yeah. So, I mean, the ball joints give it away. So, the ball joints give it away. Hey, we already saw the kind of attention to detail they do. Yeah. But they at least aligned this one. They didn't align my friends, because this one doesn't pull to the right like his does. Have you like the hit the brake? See if it pulls anyway. I haven't. I haven't done that in depth of testing. I want to do that. Yeah. I don't know. It seems kind of risky. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Uzi? I'm pretty sure you'd like to see the truck. Uh, family day, dude. Oh, family, that's right. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, I think this is a great package. Um, honestly, like I said, I really do love the truck, but I wish that, uh, that Shelby, uh, quality control was a little better. Like, come on, man. Like, you're getting a $45,000 truck and trying to sell it for $86,000, $93,000 before tax, title, license, markup, all that kind of stuff. Like, Come on, man, before it leaves your factory, make sure all your suspension's tight. Make sure your everything's lubed up. Like in my friend's case, make sure his uh, alignment is good. We're going to be doing YouTube videos with him as well. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, awesome package, badass truck, zero regrets, amazing. But like I said, quality control is a little lacking, just a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, like I loved it, but... Uh, now I really don't feel comfortable driving it until the ball joints are greased up and uh, the dealer does a full uh, quality inspection, which honestly, I, I'm going to tell that, tell him that I'm going to be like, Hey, you guys might want to inspect these cars before you sell them to the customer. Like I know you expect Shelby to have everything perfect and I would too, but this was my experience and I heard two of your other customers had issues. Maybe you should look into that before, you know, sending paperwork. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Man, this truck looks amazing in video. It looks even better in person. Uh, yeah, like always, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, yeah, and uh, we got uh, we got Kevin a uh, shirt because the other one broke, and he got some OJ orange juice. But I, I like to drink this. Um, what's it called? Yeba mate tea, whatever it is from Trader Joe's. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I just steal it from the store.
Because, you know, they've been looting, so I, I had to get in on that. <laughs> Look at him vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you changed the sweater, huh? Yeah, I changed the sweater. I when you guys went to... Nah, bro, it fucked San Francisco? It broke the tabs on the other side. It, like, brought it out like that. And it was, like, flapping because of the way... It was putting too much strain on the tabs. Yeah. So then, um... Yeah, so then I, I, I secured it correctly, took off that bumper, put the splitter on, everything's good now. Shelby. Give me a good excuse to take it off. No more snow plow, bro. <laughs> I thought it looked like a dustpan. You thought, you thought it looked like a dustpan? Oh, yeah, I have one of those red dustpans. <laughs> you know, like you're just kind of like scooping it all in. It looked clean. I liked it. Yeah, it looked dope. I mean, yeah. it's not like 30 pictures I haven't posted with that splitter. So. This one is, a, is clean, too. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird looking at the rear view when my friends are driving it. And not seeing like the big ass like splitter thing. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it's clean. I like it. Yeah. Well, we'll see how long it stays red for. There you go. I should, I should have told John to wash it while he was here. Whatever. I need to start hiring him like to like wash my cars every week. Get an account. <laughs> get, get an account with uh, with Johnny the Detailer. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.